I'm Alexandra and together with Barbara I'm here at the Archives of the European Union at the European University Institute in Florence. We're here to work on one little piece of the puzzle of the ETHOS project. The ETHOS project looks at an empirically, seeks to contribute to an empirically funded uh, European conception of justice. Now, what are we doing here? Uh, re historical research in the archives. And we're particularly interested in the period right after the Second World War. This was a very rich period, incredibly interesting period to study if you're interested in conceptions of justice. Because so much was possible. It was a real moment of, of possibility even while people were struggling to survive. In particular, we're looking at 70 years ago, 1948, the Congress of Europe, which was opened with a passionate speech by Winston Churchill about the need for Europe to, to unite. Churchill called for the establishment of a charter of uh, fundamental rights and uh, for Europe to unite in order to guarantee peace and freedoms, about which Barbara will tell you more. Yes, so indeed here's some of the books that we're uh, studying and one of the things that's particularly striking is the amount of different ideas on justice that were still on the table at the time. Justice as peace, very importantly, also justice as liberal freedoms, justice as the need for redistribution, what we now call social and economic rights, justice as recognition of human dignity or minority rights, justice also very importantly as representation. And one of the things that comes out all the time is the importance of the ideas on how this justice should be guaranteed in a supranational organization with, for instance, also a court to overview whether nation states were doing what they promised. Now we all know, looking back, that only some of these conceptions of justice were institutionalized in the end, in the, uh, what would we become the European Union within the context of the Council of Europe. And one of the reasons why it seems so important to look at this point in time is also to look not only at the voices that were heard in the end, but also at the voices that were silenced to not only look at the road that Europe did travel, but also at the road that Europe didn't travel. So this is very much the kind of things that we are digging up in these archives here, and we very much look forward to keeping you posted on this part of the big ethos puzzle.